I feel like I'm about this big, but I have this many things <laughs> that are pulling on me. Rough days do happen. They happen to all of us. Alrighty, I realized that I probably was in a grumpy mood because I wasn't wearing shoes. I guess when it's your birthday, you get a pass when mom and dad say, take your wrapping paper to the garbage. Literally, some kind of elf came in and pruned that Christmas tree we found. What the? That one might have to go on one of the upper short branches. Mom. You know? I was just looking in a box and we found our, found the. The crayons. Is there anything in there, Joe? Uh, the bottom of the box. Just an empty box? Yes. Oh, put, put the paper back in. Good morning, everybody. It's like already 10.40 or something like that. It's Peter's birthday. We're putting up the Christmas tree, and I don't know. It is not my favorite job, I'll have to, I have to tell you guys. There's something about, you know, after this many years, we've accumulated a lot of ornaments, a lot of Christmas decorations. We just don't have the space for all of it. But when you bring it all up, the kids just want to just like, just ransack through the whole thing. They want to put everything up all over the place. And I like don't, I get stressed when things are cluttered. And so the whole Christmas decorating thing just kind of stresses me out, honestly, because I wouldn't even say it stresses me out, but it just kind of like gets me a little on edge, right? <laughs> this is one of my presents. It's a gingerbread train. Yeah, a gingerbread train kit. Peter is and you can build. You trying build to be patient. <laughs> <laughs> trying, to. trying to be patient, but I said, we're not going to get that out amidst or amongst all the rest of the mess. So we're trying to get the Christmas stuff put up, trying to get it oh, um, awesome. kind of put away. You know, like I said, it's just all the stuff comes up and it all just sort of gets, they're just, just rifling through it all and it's going every which direction. And some of it is just kind of like broken, but you don't really get rid of it yet because it's maybe handmade stuff or whatever. I don't know. I do need to just sometime purge and just keep the stuff that I actually enjoy putting up and makes me feel happy when I put it up. That's what's going on here. I wish that it was like happier, but it's just not right now. I'm in a vacuum. Vacuuming always makes me happy. This black rug has been difficult. I got the black rug, loved, wanted a black rug so bad, but it has this been is posing. Why just do this. No, we're not going to do that. So it's been difficult. It shows every single little tiny bit of fuzz. So if you just walk around the house and you get like crumbs on your feet from the kitchen or get a little sand from the porch or something like that and then you walk over here, it immediately deposits it onto the black rug. So although I really do love this rug, it's nice and big, it was inexpensive for the huge size, it is difficult to keep clean. So, but that's okay. 
we're just going to get things cleaned up. I'm going to get back into a good place. The tree looks beautiful, I think. It's kind of hard with the light coming in behind. We put it in front of the window this year. I don't know the last time we've had the tree in front of the window. We've had it in that corner before. Lots of times it's in that corner over there. So, yeah, but um, I did pick up this new greenery last night from Walmart. So I'm kind of hoping that I can do something. I mean, it's just fake, but I was hoping I could do something fun with that. Um, you know, something that just feels kind of fresh and new and not just like a bunch of broken up Christmas decorations, which is what it seems like we have a lot of. Part of the Christmas decorating thing, I guess, that gets to me is the fact that, like, when you're trying to put decorations up, you just realize how cluttered and <laughs> unkept your house really is. So Maria, she she's just like my little organizer a lot <laughs> and so she has been digging out everything from the those drawers there see pencils crayons markers and then we have three drawers that are kind of like coloring books and some scissors and just kind of extra this things and so that's going to be a coloring book drawer yeah. nice because we needed that yeah because the kids were goes in the school room oh okay so those go into other drawers and things just kind of collect in there and but she is going through everything kind of making it all look nice and neat again and um, yeah that is making me very very happy too so we are going to try to make the table look pretty I'd like to get some kind of pretty thing going there I'd kind of like to put maybe some sort of little centerpiece up here something very small maybe a candle with I don't really know but something so that's what's happening here i got a vacuum and then it's going to be on to making peter's birthday cake Alrighty, i realized that i probably was in a grumpy mood because i wasn't wearing shoes i'm such such a shoe person and it just makes my legs and my feet feel so much better if i'm actually wearing shoes and i got everything vacuumed so i'm feeling much much better now and we have a couple more Christmas decorations we're going to put up. And we're going to read a couple Christmas stories here pretty soon. Oh yeah, we do also have to get to... I realize I'm not even sure if I said hello here into the camera today. But we do still have to get to doing Peter's cake. And... Mom, um, can you get the yeah. paint and art bin now? Yes, and Maria's still working so hard. Thank you. Mom. It's time to start working on Peter's birthday cake. I just wanted to show you guys... So I just bought this cheap, um, you know, just cheap frosting from the store. And what I'm doing is I have it in my KitchenAid here. I'm just going to whip this for a couple, at least three minutes probably. And it's really going to make it real airy and whipped. And it's going to spread and just kind of like go a lot further. Because I don't know about you, but I always have a hard time uh, getting the frosting from one of these little containers to actually cover an entire cake. I made his cake and I just kind of had it uh, chilling so I'm gonna let it come up to room temperature here and then uh, yeah we're gonna see what we can make happen on this cake. Peter's working on his gingerbread because I'm not sure if that's the back piece honey. This might be the roof. Oh no. Okay. Well, Unless let's see. Like this. So this was just another bummer here. I just bought these uh, you know, just brand new, and it said it was supposed to have blue, green, yellow, and red because Peter really wanted green um, writing on his cake, and we ended up in the box with two blue, a red, and a yellow, but that's okay. Peter was being pretty um, uh, pretty acceptable with that, and he said, just go with red, so it wasn't a big deal to him, but bummer. Quality control, Betty Cracker. So in one of my old cookbooks, like... I think it's probably a cookbook from the 70s or something. There is a picture in there. And I always wanted to do this. And it showed how you're supposed to make this pretty top. Where you just take the spoon. Kind of make like little divots. Okay, my hand is all shiny and clean. I just licked the spoon. But, okay. How does that look? What do you think of that, Peter? Why is there all those... <laughs> All right, he doesn't appreciate the points. I don't know. I saw it in a um, cookbook a long, long time ago, and that was supposed to make a pretty. I'm going to do some writing on there too. I don't know. We'll figure out how the writing's going to work. Okay. <laughs> 
for everyone to see, there's what I managed to come up with. And uh, Cousin Chris, if you're watching, don't judge me, okay? I, I know it's <laughs> it's not uh, bakery quality, but what do you think of it, Peter? Love it. I You love it, and that's what counts. I'm, I'm happy, happy, happy. I found that if I put this in the fridge, it actually worked better. You can see the H. It was just too warm right there, but... Then I popped it in the fridge and it worked a lot better. It's the afternoon now and um, I was just starting to make a list of Christmas cookies that I want to make because we've already made, I think, three different types of Christmas cookies already and we've eaten all of them. So I do want to make the butter cookies again. Those are in a video, I believe. Um, I want to make molasses cookies, 50 cent pieces, chocolate crinkles, Rolo pretzels, peanut blossoms, spritz, cranberry nut bread, harvest loaf, and then I do have actually a number of other things that I just recall that I have to add on here as well. But today I am going to start with making these giant ginger cookies. I don't make them as giant as the recipe calls for because I like them to be a little bit more of a, you know, something where you could have more than one cookie and, you know, feel okay about it. So this was a recipe... Gosh, I cut it out of a magazine. I'm guessing this was in like a Better Homes and Gardens or something. I probably cut this out like in 1998, <laughs> that would be my guess. But I've been making it every year, and so I'm going to get started on making these. So let me just zoom in here for you guys if you want to take a screenshot of that. And you can take a screenshot of that. Okay, and I have a note down here. One and a half inch balls are plenty large. Bake for 11 minutes. So that's my note. And let's get going on this. I think it's just <laughs> making the birthday happen, making a treat for him to take to homeschool group tomorrow, and just decorating the tree and trying to homeschool. And it's just been a lot. And I feel like I'm about this, I feel like I'm about this big, but I have this many things <laughs> that are pulling on me. I don't like this place to be a negative place, but I just want you guys all to know that rough days do happen. They happen to all of us. And yeah, we just <laughs> buckle down and get it done, right? Okay, so Peter had asked for his supper meal. He wanted to have hamburgers with buns. With buns. And there's a few cheeseburgers. Mm-hmm. And then... What else did you want? What's in this kettle over here? Corn. Corn with butter. Ketchup. Ketchup. And then over here we have salad. These no. croutons are very, very good. Yes. I forever just get the ones from Aldi's, but as you guys know, I've been doing the Walmart pickup a little more. And so we got these Rothberry, no, Rothberry Farms. These are so good. Okay, and he cottage wanted cheese. cottage cheese and then milk. And milk. So, yes, that. Hey, Joseph. <laughs> so that is what's going on. I typically like to serve supper from over here, but I've been saying and saying and saying and saying to get things cleaned up and they just don't seem to be listening so oh that's good thank you maria maria's cleaning up legos we still need to get the table cleared off and you know some days you just try to keep it all under control and say i am not gonna raise my voice and today just i want it to be that kind of day and it's posing to be kind of difficult <laughs> because I just want to say, get over here and pick this stuff up. But okay, so I think I'm just going to do it myself. I'm just going to put the stuff away right now and we're just going to keep moving forward. We have a birthday cake with candles to light yet for the night. Um, yeah, I think Emily and Sparky are going to be coming over in about an hour and a half. 
And Emily said they have a good present. I hope it's not another one of those. <laughs> and I hope it's not the same one. I looked up. Oh, it's another.